It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you so much for being back. Um, I missed you. It's been a whole day. <laughs> oh, my son thinks I'm corny. I guess I am. Uh, today's video is on the fun girls, Daphne and Skippy. Uh, 10 things that you might not have known about them. Let's take a look. Some of the most memorable Mayberry characters hardly appeared on the Andy Griffith Show. Ernest T. Bass, uh, played by Howard Morris, pops up in mere five episodes. Same goes for Leon, played by Clint Howard, the tiny silent sandwich chomping cowboy. Briscoe Darlin, played by Denver Powell, managed to uh, one-up them, literally, with six episodes. The Fun Girls rolled into the lives of Andy and Barney just three times. Now, was there a more aptly named duo in classic television? With the names uh, Skippy and Daphne, these two bouncy Mount Pilot blondes were ready for a party. In Barney Men's a Broken Heart, the Fun Girls' first appearance, Daphne even suggests to Andy that they visit a gigolo club in Yancey. Uh, as Daphne Jean uh, Carson coined one of the sitcom's most catchphrases with the raspy come on, hi doll. And a skippy, Joyce Jameson beamed a 150 watt smile. Despite the few appearances of the fun girls, the show producers must have loved the actresses. They returned as different characters. Did you ever notice that? Uh, here are some more things that you might not have noticed about Carson and Jameson. <clears throat> uh, Jean Carson played a different Mayberry character a month later. Fun Girls first appeared in the Season 3 tale, Barney Men's a Broken Heart, originally aired in November of 62, and a month later, just five episodes later, Carson turned up in Mayberry again as an entirely different character. Andy Griffith's show was never concerned with continuity. In Convicts at Large, Carson plays the tough escape convict, Jaylene Naomi Connors, who runs alongside Big Maud. Uh, they both played even more characters on Gomer Pyle. That thing we just said, just said about the continuity, well, here's more proof. In the spinoff, Gomer Powell USMC, which regularly featured crossover characters from the Andy Griffith show, Jameson and Carson portrayed even more women of the Mayberry universe. Jameson was Sergeant Carter's casino companion in Vacation in Vegas and makes a rare brunette appearance in The Return of Monroe as Natalie. Carson, meanwhile, has interacted uh, with Sergeant Carter as a diner waitress, Shirley, in Love Letters to Sarge. Uh, Gene Carson auditioned for the role of Betty, Betty Rubble. Uh, Carson's lusty, raspy voice proved to be her trademark. Uh, no wonder she was considered for one of the most iconic animation uh, gigs in history. Carson read for the role of Betty Rubble on the Flintstones, but lost out to be Bennett Ray. Joyce Jameson did voice Hanna-Barbera char characters. Uh, while never working on the Flintstones, she did indeed rack up several credits for Hanna-Barbera Studios. A skilled comedian once... For, uh, once a foil for the likes of Steve Allen, brought Scooby-Doo characters to life in the new Scooby and Scrappy-Doo show and Richie Rich Scooby-Doo show. Uh, Joyce Jameson was nothing like her characters. Throughout her career, Jameson was typecast as a ditzy blonde. In truth, the UCLA graduate was sharp as a tack and well-read. In effect, there are two Joyce Jamesons, the real one and the character whom my agent and I called the dummy. The actress once lamented. In 1958 interview with the Pittsburgh Press in 1958, uh, she explained, everyone expects to cast me as the dumb or victimized blonde after they interview me. I can just hear them say, hey, she's intelligent, but what do you do with that? Jean Carson and Jack Dotson studied at the same university. Carson was more intelligent than her on-screen character as well. Like Don Knox, she was born and raised in West Virginia. Later studied drama at Carnegie Tech, now Carnegie Mellon, in Pittsburgh. The same alma mater as Jack Dotson, who was Howard Sprague. Rod Serling wrote a Twilight Zone episode just for Gene Carson. According to the definitive Andy Griffith show reference by Dale Robinson and Dave Fernandez, a classic episode of the Twilight Zone was written specifically for Carson by Rod Serling. The twist, uh, listen that thunder. <laughs> a twisty, uh, a most unusual camera, uh, cast Carson again as a bad girl, one of the pair of thieves. Joyce Jameson made horror movies with Vincent Price. 
One place fans can find Jameson in somewhat different context is the Tales of Terror in 1962, Edgar Allan Poe adaptation from the mind of Roger Corman. She reteamed with the director as well as co-stars Vincent Price and Peter Lorre a year later for the Comedy of Terrors. Gene Carson's son was a double for the Fonz. In the her autobiography, More Than Just a Fun Girl from Mount Pilot, the Gene Carson story, the actress mentions that one of her sons, Tracy Parlin, worked as Henry Winkler's double on Happy Days. And Jameson was married to Billy Barnes and worked with another Mayberry regular. Bozer actor Billy Barnes is best known for his Billy Barnes reviews, a showcase of song and dance and uh, mirth that tickled fans in L.A. and on Broadway throughout the 50s and 60s. The 1959 iteration of the Billy Barnes review is of uh, particular interest to Mayberry fans. Uh, the Cabaret, captured on an album with a 1959 cast recording released by Decca, showcased the talents of both Ken Berry and Joyce Jameson. Barnes was married to Jameson. Uh, Barry's wife, Jackie Joseph, who danced with Ernest T. Bass and Mayberry, was also part of the review. Jameson, Barry, and Joseph would continue to work together in Billy Barnes' People, which premiered in 61. Barry, of course, would land his own Andy Griffith spinoff, Mayberry RFD. And oddly, Jameson never appeared on that show. I know this one's a bit longer than normal, but I just, I, I love the fun girls. I, I know there's some of them commented on here just absolutely hate the fun girls. So they're kind of a love-hate nothing in between type thing, but I love the fun girls, uh, especially Skippy when she would get on old Bernie. I just love that stuff, man. It's so funny. Uh, and they used to get Andy and Barney in so much trouble. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Uh, please check those out. Please don't forget to subscribe while you're here and there. And please like this video. Thanks, guys. God bless. Be praying for you.